That is a cleric. Are you telling me about a hidden item? That's a, this is some guy. <sighs> I'm not stealing, I'm buying! I'm, I was I'm, <laughs> beautiful woman who works at the tavern she's has, she does stuff <laughs> all I wanted was to a young man who stowed away on a merchant ship six months ago. He lives at a tavern and likes the maids, and they're gonna run away together, and it's gonna be cute. Fucking stupid ass old woman. I'm saving before I do that again. I would never save scum, though. That would be unethical. I'm just saving, uh, for unrelated reasons. Unrelated reasons, chat. I would never save scum if this goes poorly. See? I wouldn't. One of a pair of brigands who teaches you how to steal better. You mother... You're not even good! I'm beating your ass. You cost me a hundred thousand dollars. good day for battle. Victory out of my way! I got no tolerance for you. Victory. Yeah. With each battle, I grow stronger. Get fucking blasted. Never getting that money back. Oh god, there's a lot of people here. Too bad I don't have money to buy things from all these people. That's awkward. Woman who sells souvenirs to tourists. Though her parents intend for her to take over the family business, she dreams of traveling the world in search of treasure before that happens. Yo, is it Tressa too? Are you Tressa as well? Excuse me, young lady. Hmm, can I help you? Well, I was wondering if you keep a diary. Yes, I do. Every day. Ho ho, that's wonderful. A diary is a record of the heart. It allows you to see your past self and how different you are now. It can help you change yourself for the better, too. So make sure not to miss a day. R right. Well, thank you for your time. Wait, that's... What a sales pitch. You you go, buddy. Ingslog39205. I have nothing left to write. Nothing worth writing, at any rate. And yet I must press on, else I betray the promise I made to her so long ago. So I write for her. That's good. Young man who spent altogether too much of the fortune he inherited on gotcha games. Extremely confident in his judgment, he believes all who question his decisions simply lack his preternatural eye for quality. Mamma mia! I want that dazzling artwork. Probably sells for a lot, maybe. Official Grandport Merchant 169002. Selling soul stones. Yep, those are soul stones. Grand Merchant 170926, selling medicinal ingredients. 
Yep, sure is. One nine two zero three one selling dancing garments and accessories. Oh yeah. Traditional dancer garb. Yep, he sure is. That's the gear Prim started the game in, I think. Ethereal dancer garb. Ooh, hello there. I'd like a 102, 114, 147. It's mar marginally better, but I'm broke. Grandport Merchant 20515 selling a hunting equipment. Very good bow, another very good bow, a very good dagger, and some reasonable armor. None of which I can now afford, because God has deigned to torment me. And by God, I mean some old woman. I'm gonna buy that painting, and I would, I wouldn't even consider saves coming if it's a worth less money than it than it costs. Wait, not you, this guy, this guy. Let's see, what was it, like 26k? Let's see... Rippy dippy. Rippy dippy. Treasure, treasure everywhere! Oh. oh, that's how Sinity Tableware! Whoa. And there are Rene Towels, Crimson Gems, Gold Coins from Belmond. <laughs> you really can find anything at the fair. I better write this all down before I forget. Oh, hello. Excuse me, miss. Mm. Oh, hello. Can I help you? It can't be. I feel like I've seen that notebook somewhere before. Would you mind showing it to me? Tressa, no. What have we learned about trusting people? Just a little more, if you don't mind. Tressa, what have we... Um... <sighs> Tressa, have we never learned anything? Sure. By the way, I didn't get your name. Hmm. <laughs> Finally, my search is over. Uh, Your search? Yes. Please accept this and thanks. Uh, hey, that's mine! Not anymore, little girl. A word of advice before I go. Forget you ever saw this book. It's for your own good. Some Wait! Tressa, someday you'll learn. My notebook. I have to get it back. Uh. Where did she go? What's going on? What are all those people doing there? Your attention, please? Oh, is that Ali? Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. You won't want to miss what's coming up next. <gasps> I know that voice. Gather round. It's a first-class item for a first-class lady like yourself. How splendid. W well, it does sound quite spectacular. Oh. It is Ali. <laughs> Here it is, folks. 
the magnificent fortuitous carpet of House Kafka. For those of you who don't know, let me tell you the tale of this particular piece. Peculiar piece. The Kafkas are famous aristocrats from the north. And then... Several decades ago, a craftsman presented the family with a very special carpet. From the moment it adorned their halls, their lives were forever changed. Business boomed and profits soared, and eventually they were blessed with six beautiful children. It seemed as though the more memories the family made together, the more their happiness grew. Their luck both at work and at home was greater than ever before. Actually, And this is the very carpet that welcomed good fortune into their lives. Damn, remember in uh, Chapter 2 when Ali was like, My father never lied and I want to be like him. Ooh. Yeah, I remember that. I don't know if Ali does. So, Who knows? With this in your own home, your luck could change for the better, just like the Kafkas. I'll start the bidding at a mere 10,000 leaves. Most excellent. I'll give you 15. <laughs> I'll pay 20,000. So. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that merchant sure has a way with words. He can make a handful of sand look Most like assuredly. gold. Why is the screen black? Tell me about it. He even made me want that carpet. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Another prosperous day. Time no see. Fancy meeting you here. Glad to see you haven't changed a bit, Ali. Hmm. And you are? Uh oh. <laughs> Tressa, remember? We met in Quarry Crest. Green pea. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Green pea. How's business? Thanks, Ali. Very funny. You got Something the whole fun? squad laughing. Something the matter? You're not still mad I stole all your customers, are you? Actually... No, it's not that. What? Your notebook was stolen? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ali, you're being an asshole right now. What kind of person would steal someone else's notebook? It's not funny. It was important to me. But that woman said it was in my own interest to forget about it. Hmm. The plot thickens. Well, I suppose I've moved enough merch for one day. Huh? Hey now. I'm gonna help you look for your notebook. I have a debt to repay after all. Ali. Thanks. I guess you're not such a bad guy after all. <laughs> you call that praise? You've got a long way to go, Green Pea. Hey, it's Leotard Lady. That's her! I guess it's like a dress, not a Leotard. Whatever. Ah! Over there! Follow me! Follow me! No, I have to investigate all these folk first. Official Grandport Merchant, 112125. Books sold out. A member of a noble family sponsoring the Merchant's Fair. A great event that many dream of attending. Well aware of its significance, he's invested a great deal of his resources into ensuring all goes to plan. He attends anonymously as he knows rather little about trade. I'd prefer that others remain ignorant of this fact. Silver clock. Yup clock. Grandport Merchant 115423 selling fruit. Yep, that's fruit. Doggy. A happy mutt with not a care in the world. 
He's a good dog. But to be fair, all dogs are good dogs. And a pox upon he who dares to say otherwise. Legendary. When I was little, my mother talked in her sleep. I could hear her at night calling someone's name over and over, louder and louder, until she screamed. It was scary. She doesn't do that anymore, but I don't know if that means she's gotten better. Uh, 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 do I tell her? Hey. You don't need Kevin's? My mother's sometimes searching for someone by... Oh, no. Miss? A woman known for her generosity and beauty. She lives with her family in Grandport, where her husband serves as commander of the garrison, and enjoys bringing him and his men homemade sweets from time to time. One might say they're the picture of the perfect husband and wife. Uh, I hope, uh, her husband is named Kevin. A woman from a southern nation who traveled the realm working odd jobs until she found her way to Grandport several years ago. In her youth, she helped her mother with the daily cooking and learned a great deal as a result. Her specialty is stewed fish with... Quatre? I don't know what that is. How do you do? I come from a land so far south of here that you'll not find it on any map. I haven't been back there in a dozen years or more. I have no interest going back by now, either. Yet, the one thing I do miss is the sweet smell of the quatre blossoms that grow, that grow there. Okay. Today's menu, seven herb soup, scissor crab salad, orox steak, and grilled pomegranate. Give me the palms. Grandport Merchant, 138288, selling uh, spears. Hot diggity, that's a lot of elemental attack. Who boy. But I can't afford it, because I'm broke. For reasons. A jeweler who uses various and not altogether honorable means to learn of and acquire precious gems. He then uses myriad other and undeniably disreputable methods to sell them for a significant profit. Byron's ring. That's a quest item. Now I'm giga broke. An antique dealer willing to pay surprisingly high prices for common goods. His only criterion for assessing the value of an item is its personal history. To wit, he'll pay a king's ransom for junk if the seller's story is sufficiently compelling. Another quest item. Thug. Grandport Merchant 140231 selling axes. No, not part ways. A noble woman of poor taste and jewelry. She loves collecting items from all over the world and goes to the market every day hoping to find a new piece to add to her collection. The head of the Grandport's Merchants Association. He decides who can sell their wares at the market. A born and bred merchant, he can often be spotted scouring the stalls for hidden treasure. A merchant who came to peruse the market, though he was considering setting up a stall to sell his own wares, he's somewhat overwhelmed by the passion of his competitors. Grandport Merchant, 129543, selling daggers.
All right, I could probably scrounge up enough gold for that other quest item. That'll do it. Give me that. Hello, dress lady and ominous man. That's definitely her. I'd recognize her anywhere. A strange woman. Why would she want with your, what would she want with your diary? Quiet. Hmm. Esmeralda. I retrieved the notebook. Well, well. Excellent work. Now, let us leave this town at once. My thoughts exactly. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about those two. You think? We'll leave the way we came. So what now? What are you going to do, Green Pea? I'm going to slap you if you keep calling me Green Pea. What else? Get my notebook back. Are you coming or not? <laughs> Lead the way. Why bring him along? He's useless. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining us today. The showcase, sponsored by the gracious House Wyndham, will begin shortly. Only one piece is allowed per entrant. The lucky winner of the show will be awarded one billion leaves. Oh. Merchants, please prepare your entries. Hmm. That's right, the showcase. Green pea. Are you entering, Green Pea? Yeah! You got that right, and here's my winning entry. Ta-da! Eltrite? How'd you get your hands on something that rare? So? Let's talk business, hey? <laughs> Keep dreaming, Ali. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Was it? But you know, you might actually win with this. Maybe you're not such a green pea after all. Hmm, something about it feels different. Different? How? Ha. Huh. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination. Anyway, first things first, we need to find that woman. Of course. True, but there's a couple more people to talk to out here. The Grantport Merchants Association shall bear no liability to victims of swindlers or thieves, nor will it intervene in business disputes. It's incumbent on all concerned parties to resolve ma such matters themselves. Thanks for the disclaimer, dude. That's a very good necklace that I can't afford. Non-regular merchant with miscellaneous wares. What does that mean? The Forbidden Shield. What the hell is the tagged collar? It's expensive, but it looks like it's just a junk item. What a meme. What a meme. A rusty cup. Amazing. Beautiful. 
well worth the 10 seconds it took to pick up. Grand Poor Merchant, 159242, selling mountain climbing gear. Sledge? Uh, I don't know if... You know what? Never mind. There they are. Now then. All right, leave it to me. No, Ali. Last time I left it, no, that no, don't. I'll lure him away so you can follow that woman. What? I can't let you do that. It's it's too dangerous. I am a one-man army. Uh, okay. Have fun. I'll see that debt repaid one way or another, Tressa. Oh no. Ali. Smooth exit, Ali. Now to get down to business. Hello there. Pardon me, sir. Madam. Uh, are you allowed to be on stage like this? Ugh. What is it, kid? I know I don't look like much, but I'm a renowned merchant in these parts. I was hoping I could have a moment of your time. Gah. Out of the way, we're busy. Actually... It won't take long, I promise. I'm actually quite interested in that pocket watch of yours, sir. That's so. Uh... Oh, really? Ugh. Did you forget? We're in a hurry. Hmm. That's Zikarot's watch, if I'm not mistaken. The king of the east he was, and prized that very timepiece above all others. His famous words were, Nothing is more precious than time. Time kept and time spent. Good going, Ollie. Tressa, shut up! That's so. A well versed merchant, I see. However, this is hardly my most remarkable watch. You know, my time is precious, too. Indeed. My apologies, madam. Why don't we talk over there, sir? I have something that might be of great interest to you. That's so. Do tell. Who do watches could be so time consuming? Ha! Nice of <laughs> me. Thank you, Ali. It's my turn now. Hey, she says that in fights. No. But there's a hidden item in there, bro. A man hired to host the merchant's fair, he is well liked by the traders for his calm demeanor and eloquence. When the fair is not being held, he works in Victor's Hollow. He just likes Colosseum towns, apparently. Well, I guess this isn't a Colosseum. Big meeting hall. Grand Port Suez. Gross. Danger level 45, even grosser. Do you think he'll be alright? Are you worried for the lad? Of course. He's putting himself into danger all for my sake. He swore he would pay his debt. I know, but... And I believe him a man of his word. His pride wouldn't stand for owing me anything, that's for sure. I just hope he doesn't get himself hurt. As do I. But whether you fret or not, he will do what he's set his mind to. I guess you're right. And he is tougher than he looks. Is he? You'd be dead if it weren't for us. I'm gonna need a citation on that one, Tressa. Thank you. 